In this video, we'll be talking about uh, how the data information or uh, information can be added to the to the data set when the documents are being moving from or the data transfer have been happening from source system to target system. So the question is, can, can we change the data set when the data transfer is happening? The answer is yes. SAP has given the body called body underscore fin C fin code document and uh, it, it is used in FICF central finance component and you can enhance, uh, you have to implement this body in the source system and then you can enhance the data. So it's basically uh, in, in middle, you can change the data set. How? We will see that. What can be changed that is very important to understand that in summary, uh, you, uh, COPA is a very flexible and customer specific area. So COPA always have a variation with uh, each customer implementation. So you, of course, you have options to change COPA fields. Uh, you have options to change, uh, add more customer specific field into ACC IT and it results in your FI document line item. So in summary, if you are changing, moving something in FI, uh, your accounting document, uh, you can add customer specific field. Similarly, in CO also, you can add customer specific field, uh, which is CO, CFIN underscore CO underscore ADD. And you can also add customer specific field in commitment items and also uh, profit center accounting in profit center documents, you can also add customer specific field. So in summary, if you see the overall picture, you can change mostly things in the customer specific namespace and the fields. However, it is uh, important to understand that uh, there is a limitation. You cannot change the standard field. If I come, if you ask me, are there any restrictions? Yes, there are restrictions and you cannot change anything in, in the body to modify the standard field in CFIN ACC app, IT app, or you cannot add additional line items to the table. So it is important to additional line items, yes. So it is important to understand that in customer name in customer specific field, you can play around in FI document, CO document, commitment, profit center replication, COPA, and even you can disable the transfer of COPA information. But you, can, you are not allowed to change anything in the standard field. You use it or you don't use it, it will remain as is. Very important part is when it is triggered. So at what point your enhancement or this spot will come into picture and whether it is only for initial load or it is for replication. So in summary, ongoing replication of FI documents, initial load of FI documents, initial load and ongoing replication of CO documents, commitment item and profit center document. So initial load, all items, commitment, profit center documents, FI and CO, Replication all items. So this is basically applicable for four data objects, FI documents, CO documents, uh, commitment items and profit center accounting documents. So all these four documents in initial load and in replication you can enhance. And of course it makes sense because uh, if you are putting some, a new design and you want to add a field, so of course you will add something in initial load because that will set a foundation for your next steps. And uh, then, of course, in the ongoing replication also, you need to have that particular field. So you can enhance those uh, fields in load and replication. If you want to understand more about uh, initial load, there are other videos on the channel. Feel free to jump uh, in for FI initial load, CO initial load, AUFK initial load. Uh, there are separate videos for each topic, which will give you insight about you know more details on each particular area. So well, this is uh, 39th video. Uh, we are now pretty much long way, long journey now. Uh, this video is more again on central finance. Uh, plan is to add now coming to the configuration videos. Uh, more and more configuration videos will be coming soon on this area. And I will keep you informed uh, on the YouTube channel. So it is important that you like, subscribe and share the channel. And also any questions or anything you have in terms of doubt, feel free to put it on YouTube uh, video comments and I will try to pick it up uh, in, uh, in the coming, coming upcoming videos. So that will also help you to get answers to your questions, which way you know not get directly over the internet or from your projects. Thank you so much for today and uh, I will be in touch and I will be com coming back soon with more videos. Thank you.